So dolls, now we are decorated for Christmas in my apartment. I am going to do a whole apartment tour of my apartment from the entryway to the toilets, to the living room, to the kitchen, to my glam room, everything, how I'm decorated for Christmas. I, I think it needs a, it does need a video of its own. So grab your coffee, grab your hot cocoa, and let's start this video. Let's go dolls. That is my dream. We're gonna start off with my entryway. As soon as you come in, this is the entryway. We've got a little bit of Christmas stuff going on here and I love it. I changed my entryway. I did show you dolls like last month, my entryway, but I changed it and this is how it looks like. I decided to just keep it very simple, but just very giving you a hint about what you're about to see when you walk into my apartment. So this is the table. I changed it, as I said. I made the garland and I just like added these cute pieces, my car keys and everything stay on top of here. Um, and I have just cute little pieces on the side and it gives you just a vibe of how my apartment's gonna look like before you get inside. I was gonna add something on the, the like on the mirror, but I thought, let me not, let me just keep it very simple. So that is my entryway. I love, love, love the reindeer. I love this nutcracker. I got it from 99 cent store and it's just so perfectly cute in the corner. Um, I love how I have this little one as well, this little deer from 99 cent store and the acorns and there's just a candle there. And then the garland, I did all of the garland piece myself and the garland's actually from Walmart and I added all those pieces on. At the bottom, I have these tree cones. I believe I got them from at home. I can't remember, I think so. So that's that, I've had it for a couple of years and I just want to keep it very just, as I said, simple and clean and easy to just look at before you walk into my main apartment. And that's just my gym equipment on the side, if you're wondering, I know someone's gonna wonder what that is. <laughs> So that's my entryway. As you move backwards, this is my part of my kitchen, my dog bowls. And all I did here, I was gonna add like garland over the white part that you see there. But I decided to just like last minute leave this. I was gonna have this on the staircase. I think this is cute. I just like that little detail there, but this is like my dog's little feeding station. So this is where they eat. And I just thought, let me give them a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of Christmas decor. So that's what they have going on here. So when you walk in, this is how my apartment looks like. I am so in love with my apartment for Christmas. This is the living room and the kitchen. I am obsessed and we're gonna do a quick tour, even though I've done like a tour of both of them already, but we, you know, it's part of the video. So we are gonna start off, I guess, living room or kitchen? Let's do the living room because we're staring at it. So let's look at the living room such a stunning room i love my living room so this is my living room i am obsessed 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 with my living room i cannot stop saying that because i literally am i am so grateful for this view and waking up to it every morning it's just such a dreamy dream just look at my tree okay so as i said and i always keep saying I have not been in my apartment for like three months. I just moved in and the chandelier, quite a lot of things are not set up. I don't have curtains here. So it does to me feel unfinished. Maybe to you it doesn't, but I should be having my big chandelier up coming from that little hole in the ceiling, but we can't, it would have just felt more complete. But 
I still love it and I'm gonna do the little tour for you because why not? A lot of you loved this and loved my video and let's do a quick tour even though you've probably seen the video already but if you're new to my channel from this video you've not seen the living room so let's do a quick tour of my living room. For so we have my seven foot tree in the corner here. Such a gorgeous tree. I am loving this tree. I decided to go white this year. I feel like white as I said, we'll make, in my other video, I said that white would just make the couch pop even more. I felt like if I did green, it probably wouldn't. I don't know. I just want to do white, okay? <laughs> I just wanted to do a white tree this year because last year I did green, the traditional colour with the pink balls. But this year I decided to go for white and I felt it's just gonna, it's just gonna look gorgeous. And I, you know, I was scared at first because you don't really see white trees as much. You see like the regular green trees. So I was thinking it would be too, it wouldn't pop, but oh my goodness, look at the tree. Look at my sofa, look at everything. It pops, I love it. I decided to have a lot of like gold, not gold, sorry, silver and white touches. Um, I wanted to do, because last year I did more of a gold theme and pink. This year I wanted to do a lot of silver. So you can see silver throughout my tree and you can see some silver balls as well. You see the little silver reindeer at the bottom. Um, and I just love it. I feel silver and white gives it that, that winter wonderland look. I made that garland you see going across. I did that myself and I love it. I was going to have it going all around, like down to the front door, but I was thinking, no, let's just leave it up here. And it just looks really nice to me. So I love it. And I love my tree topper. I just love how my tree came out. Like, I just love it. I love, 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 love my tree. And I love how it just highlights my um, pink sofa. Like, oh, I just love it. And then I made, I made pretty much all of the stuff you see in here. So everything you see, I made it. Like, pretty much. I've realized that. So the reason... I love that. We're going to talk about that in a minute, but no, let's talk about it now. I absolutely love my garland, not garland, sorry, my wreath. It just looks so pretty. I had some people like comment that it looks like I need to have something next to it. And just to answer that, I feel like it would have been doing too much because I have a lot going on, like even on the couch, like I just love that. All I wanted was for that wreath to be bigger. That's all. Like if it was really huge, I would have loved it even more, but I just want, I don't like to do too much. Like I already have a lot going on, so we don't need to do too much. So I purposely want it to be like that on its own. I think it just highlights the sofa and that's what I want. So we have a lot going on even with the tree in the corner. So I felt like having this on its own was just perfect. So just to answer that question, because I do have people commenting that and I'm just like, I like it. I love it that way. Now, I absolutely love my table set up going on again i love simplicity and i love how we have the deer theme going the reindeer theme like with the pillows behind and then also on top of the table i love it and i love how my ysl books are incorporated here still they just look so cute together the um ysl books and the bow i just love it it just feels so girly i was gonna add because as you can see the bottom of my coffee table has a little other layer i was gonna add some stuff underneath but i felt no let's keep Keep it clean and simple and accessible. Um, I love my I'm dreaming of a pink Christmas candle. Every year I'm going to pull it out. It's such a perfect statement candle. My only little thing is I wish I made, I wish they made it bigger, like a bigger size. Okay, so now you see my tree, you see my living room. Now it's time to look at my kitchen. So we are gonna do a little tour of how my kitchen looks like. Um, you've already seen it, many of you, but I mean, I guess if you're new to my channel, this will be new to you. But we are gonna do a tour of my kitchen. You know, I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with my kitchen. Normally I move all the stuff out of the way, like my kitchen towels and stuff like that. But no, we're leaving it in because it's real life. So, um, first of all, we're going to start off here. 
So right under my bar stools, I added this garland. I am so obsessed with this garland because I made it. <laughs> That's possibly why I'm obsessed with it. A lot of the dolls on TikTok love this garland. It's easy to make. Um, I'm just obsessed with it. Um, I love it. I got the garland from Walmart, but then I added all the pieces on and made it my own. So that is that. So you can still sit on there with that there. <laughs> so I just love it. It goes all around. I just love it. And it just like, I just, I'm obsessed. So on top of here, we have another thing I made, which is this right here this container and you can put like mints in it that's what i did oh my god my mum has been stealing my mints so i just love it i love the mints because i'm not the one that eats the mints i don't eat mints so it's definitely my mum. I, I caught her in the act once i have this tree next to it and i love it because it's again i left it bare many people wonder probably why i didn't put any balls on it because it's just a lot is going on we don't need balls <laughs> I was gonna add um for the top of my so this is the top of my like this is how my kitchen looks like on top of the um cabinets I was gonna add some more garland but I felt it would be too much and a lot of people on TikTok want me to add it in but I'm just gonna maybe next year but this is my kitchen you know I'm just obsessed with my kitchen it's probably my favorite part my kitchen just feels so dreamy I'm gonna turn on the lights actually I feel like the lights just add more of a cozy vibe to it. The lights underneath the cabinets. So as you know, I DIY'd all of this that you see, the cabinets, the bow wreath on top there. I did all of these pieces and it's really easy to make. All I did was I got the ribbons, I put them behind, taped it behind the cabinet doors and I added a bow. So these are bows, like headband bows and I just like stuck it on there. So really easy to make. Um, I love all the decor. This is my hot cocoa bar over in this corner. I love it. I love, love, love everything about, I just, I'm going to keep saying I love it because I'm just obsessed. I have my toasted marshmallow syrup in the corner. I have these gingerbreads and they taste so good. They're from Target. I have the mints that I don't eat and the marshmallows. And again, I DIY'd all of that myself. And these are jars are all from Dollar Tree. In the corner here, we have cinnamon sticks, cocoa powder, and some Christmas sprinkles. Um, I believe they're from Walmart. Um, and I DIY'd those jars too. And then we have our hot cocoa. We have our two-go cups. I am just obsessed. I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> so that is my hot cocoa bar in the corner. And then in this corner, we have obviously my um, pearl Christmas cone and my spice rack. Um, we have my cooking books, just the usual stuff in my kitchen. But then I added this right here. So I added this. 19 days actually i need to change it right when i'm filming this it's 18 days to christmas so i have that in the corner i have obviously my regular stuff i have something hidden behind look black pepper <laughs> i have my knife set i just I, I just love um my kitchen for christmas this might be my favorite room i can't decide what's my favorite room to be quite honest i love every room on top of here we have the paris hilton pot set and down below we have this i love this so this is from 99 cent store i dare why dear i all i did was i added the bow on there i absolutely am obsessed with this detail going on and i love it like right on my oven i don't know it just feels so christmasy um i love the O oh santa i got those on amazon and the believe i am obsessed with the, how that looks like and then down below i have i'm here for the cookies i love that this mat i got it from at home because i keep getting so many questions where i got my mat from at home so that is the situation in my kitchen in this area now we're going to look at my coffee bar so for my coffee bar i decided to keep it very simple all i did was add like this little nutcracker in the corner just to make it feel festive i mean we've got the bows above here so we don't really need much as i said i love glam and simplicity at the same time um all i did was i added peppermint mocha which i have not even filled yet <laughs> as a syrup and then i just have my regular tea coffee and sugar as i said nothing special in my coffee bar for christmas um wait this cupboard here we have the christmas coffee mug the santa one from at home inside here i guess that's what makes it feel like christmas when i have it out but that's the only hint of christmas i have in my coffee bar and then also the nutcracker down below but that is it so i'm gonna be done with the kitchen 
so that is my kitchen for Christmas. I am obsessed. I love how everything came out. This is just so dreamy. It feels like a dream. It doesn't actually feel like my home. It feels like I'm in some type of pink hotel. I am obsessed. It's literally a dream. I get so many comments on TikTok, especially even on YouTube as well. Like a lot of women are just saying how it's their dream. And I'm like, you guys, you say it's your dream. This is my dream. Like it doesn't feel like it's my home. Like it feels like a dream. So I get it when everyone says that so that's my kitchen i'm obsessed we're gonna have so many cozy girly vlogs in here like all christmas so get ready Okay, so now you've seen the kitchen and the living room. We are gonna go and see the toilet, which is not much in here. Again, I have this bell that I DIY'd as at the door. So when you open it, it makes that sound. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so let's look at my toilet. Not much going on, but I'm just gonna give you like a quick tour of what I have in here. So this is actually the guest toilet. So this is how it looks like. It's just simple nothing really i didn't even put any mats on the floor for christmas this is the realistic image of my toy we have the nutcracker theme going on here in the corner we have i didn't even put any soaps on bath and body works yet i haven't even changed that but we just have our soaps here but i like how the nutcrackers are kind of guarding the soap and hand cream i love that we have this toasted marshmallow candle um christmas candle in the corner and then in on top of it we have that little baby reindeer i love it and a little acorn as i said not much going on it's very simple but i guess because we're doing a whole house tour i definitely have to show you my toilet but this is how the guest toilet looks like for christmas nothing special just simple <laughs> seriously how cute are they how cute are they <laughs> and i just love it in the corner like that so the final room is my glam room. I have moved things around and changed things, but it pretty much is the same as last time you all saw it. So my glam room is incomplete. Most things are incomplete. I have not added the chandelier, so everything's going to look like incomplete. Um, a lot is to go on in here over the next few months when the new year hits. I'm going to be doing a lot of changes. But this is my tree. I decided to have a pink tree in the glam room with white decor. Um, basically the opposite of my living room and this tree is a six foot Christmas tree I love it I love the details on here I love how I have pearls on this tree and if you look closer you can see here says Chanel and it's got pearls inside it and I wanted it to go with the Chanel theme of this room with the bags and you know the book the coffee table books just it's the whole designer look and I love these ones I made these ones myself I'm obsessed with these and they have pearls in them as well as you can see I am just loving it a lot of bows in this tree as well so you've got the glittery bows and then you've got some huge pearls going through my tree as well and I am just as I said obsessed with this room I love how how the tree just complements my um, clothes and stuff inside this room, my handbags, my shoes. I just love it. And at the bottom, we have like a Chanel and Victoria's Secret bag. I decided to change the um, pillows on this sofa because the other ones, I added the other ones that used to be here and put them in the living room. So I just want to go with something simple. But I love it. This is the pink glam room. So is Lee, Lee, Lee MV Rose. I find that word so hard to say, but very French and bougie. I love it. Um, but yeah, so this is how the glam room turned out and I'm obsessed. Oh, I have not shown you behind me. 
So behind me we have this gorgeous mirror. I love my mirror, I'm obsessed. And then we have this pillow here that says, this in this gold basket and it says Merry Christmas. I love it here, the gold basket. This used to be in my living room, but now it's inside the glam room for now. And I just love the peak of Christmas, like how it's peeking behind like the Christmas tree. I love how it looks in this mirror. And at the top of the mirror, I have, as you can see, a stocking look at this stocking it's so pretty i just have to have her in here somewhere i've been dying to use this stocking and it fits so perfectly on this mirror i'm gonna step back so you can see the whole view so pretty i just love this room so much and oh obsessed so this is my glam room dolls count how many times in this video i said obsessed and comment it in the comment section look at this i love it i love it i love this whole detail obsessed <laughs> Add it to the tally. There we go. Here's another shot of my glam room. I love it. I love it. It's so Christmassy, so girly. I love it. I love this room. So yeah, this is how it looks like for now. We are not completed the glam room. So I did what I could for Christmas, I guess. So here it is. <laughs> you see my whole apartment for Christmas I love it in here Dolls, if you have enjoyed the tour of my apartment for Christmas, give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, as I always say, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit the notification bell button so you can know when I have a new video. And wait, we forgot to do the secret emoji. So in all my videos, at the very end of the video, I do a secret emoji to see who has been watching to the end of the video. And today's secret emoji is going to be a reindeer. So comment down, comment in the comment section, a reindeer and a Christmas tree in the comment section down below. Um, it helps me know who's been watching to the end of the video. 
Thank you so much for watching my whole apartment tour of my apartment for Christmas. I love it in here. It's a pink winter wonderland. Thank you so much for watching dolls and I will see you in my next video. Smooches, bye. I love you.